Hello everyone. I want to make a card today with some uh, kind of products you probably wouldn't think to mix together. Uh, the embossing line from Wow and then this high tacky, um, it's the high tacky craft tape. It's heat resistant really. I just want to see if this technique will work. And then a mixed media pa paper pad from Art Creations and then my color burst. Um, but really any kind of powdered pigment would totally work. So the first thing I want to do is I want to take out um, just a page of this and I'm going to cut it into four card fronts and I will measure that out at four by five and a quarter. So I want to play with this new high tacky craft tape but in order to do that um, I want to I noticed that it can stretch a little bit so I decided to go ahead and measure out where I want to place the tape there are three different um, widths of this tape and I'm going to use the small medium and large and I'm going to use it with different the different embossing powders and I'm totally cool with my pencil mark because once I lay the tape down smoosh my powder in it's going to cover it up entirely at this point in time i really don't have any rhyme or reason to what i am going to do with this i kind of know what i want to do but i'm not quite sure it's all gonna work out so once i get that all laid out now it's time for me to go ahead and run that first piece of tape So once I get my embossing powder pretty much really smooshed into that tape, I go ahead and I just take this little feather uh, lightweight type brush and get all the excess off. I heat set it off camera with my embossing tool. And as you can tell, it is not moving anywhere. It is like plastic, it's melted in. And so I'm gonna go ahead and continue on with these different colors. And as you can tell, it looks just so, so very pretty um, as it embosses. And I really love this twilight type um, embossing powder that's been influenced by my friend. She actually is the inspiration behind it. So that's pretty cool to be able to play with something that she inspired, you know? So anyway, I am using a little tidy tray to help collect all that when I'm done. And as you can tell, it does get messy, but boy, does that little uh, brush really help. You just wanna make sure you use one that is a soft brush to get all of that excess off because once it melts, it is staying. You can't move it. And there it is, pretty much all complete, not rubbing off. So that tape definitely can withstand some heat. Now I'm gonna go ahead and create my galaxy background. If you don't have these, this particular line, and um, I don't even know if you can find this line anymore, I'm gonna try to link below some pigments that would work. All you really need is a dark orange, excuse me, a burnt orange, a dark yellow, a burgundy, a dark blue and kind of a light green. And then you'll be able to cre create your galaxy background. And you just continue to spray water on until you get it to the movement and consistency that you like. I really wanted this to move around. I tend to super overwork my backgrounds. I start to have too much fun at this. And so I'll go through and I'll like dab it out and then I'll lay some more down. If you're having a problem with your powder blowing away before you're able to mist it, mist it with water first. That'll allow the pigment to um, adhere to the paper. And then once you get that 
down, you can mist it again and it'll totally move and do everything that you want it to do. I understand that it looks like a hot mess right now. That just kind of goes with the territory, but I promise you once it's done, it'll be so cool. So I like to just lay out a paper towel or a dry baby wipe over it just to pull up some of that excess and uh, work on it some more from there. And like I said, I really, really like to layer this on and work it until I get it to what I, what I kind of want it to do. The cool thing with embossing first is that it actually acts as a resist. So it will not adhere to that embossed image. It will hold its own. So that's really good to know if you're working with watercolors or other things is that you can actually use it as a resist and it'll just work just fine. So as you can tell, look, it's looking pretty messy, right? Pretty bad. We're going to work it some more. And I'm just going to show you this process as I go through. If you enjoy content like this and unboxings as well, different ways to use your products. These products were never really meant to be used together, but haha, I do it and you haven't subscribed to my channel, I hope that you consider doing so and making sure that you hit that notification bell so you're notified every time I have a new video coming out. And of course, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. And uh, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. That way it makes the YouTube algorithm gods happy. And then I'm happy, yada, yada, yada. You know how it goes. And if you want anything I'm using or any replacements because I can't find it, I will have that listed for you down below in the description box for your convenience. So just make sure that you check out all of that good stuff down there. Um, this is just a way for me to bring you guys some free content. So it is affiliated, of course, but that just means I make my money through ad revenue and also through anything that is bought off of it. Um, but it's just a small commission. All right. So I am using my Dina Wakely gloss spray to dab on those stars. And then from here, I'm going to use that double-sided tape to adhere my clip art. And the clip art that I'm using is so adorable. It is actually from, um, studio light as well. It is all about out of this world. It's already cut. I don't have to worry about fussy cutting it. I just literally have to punch it out and it punches out really, really nice. I am also loving this tape right now. It's double-sided craft tape. It tears on its own and it was pretty easy to get off of, um, get to get going too. Now I'm gonna assemble that card. I just created a card base. I basically cut an eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper down the middle and scored it. Gives you the perfect A, uh, I think it's the A4 size. And look at that cuteness. Isn't that adorable? So I just pulled out a planet and two little cute animals. And um, I'm using pop dots on the back of that little planet. Just going to pop that on right there. And as you can tell, it's totally coming together with that galaxy feel. Then putting on that top um, sentiment, again, pop dots to make it extra dimensional. And then again, I'm layering on even more so it looks really high. I certainly hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you check out my Instagram too to see other projects that I do. Bye!